What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the trial sets that will be available in the Necrom chapter. Of course, the Necrom chapter is right around the corner. I have, of course, a PC release first and then console a little bit later in the month in June. And I know if you're like me, you're on console. You may not play, of course, in the public test server if you don't have access to be able to play the game on PC as well. So you're kind of wondering exactly what these armor sets will do. So the armor sets that are going to be the trial sets in the Necrom chapter are pretty interesting. First of all, let's talk about the Test of Resolve, which is the heavy armor set. Two items adds uh, 1,487 armor, three gain minor ages at all time, reducing your damage taken from dungeon, trial, and arena monsters by 5%. Four items adds 1,206 health. Five items adds 1,487 armor, uh, armor, and five items. When you take damage while under 35% health, your resolve is tested. If you are also below 50% st uh, stamina, you restore full health, magic, and stamina while also gaining major protection and major ages for 10 seconds. If you are above 50% stamina, you become a beacon of hope for 20 seconds, causing your major and minor buffs to also grant minor ages for 10 seconds. This effect can occur every one minute. That set has a lot of stuff going on right there in that five piece uh, bonus, but I do think there will definitely be some tanks out there that can find some use for this because you're, you are getting a lot of different buffs depending on exactly where you are uh, when it comes to health uh, and stamina or, you know, health in that fight to gain stamina and magic. Uh, and of course, if you're above 50% stamina, you know, you get a different kind of uh, uh, benefit from this. So I think this will be a set that, like I said, that some, some, some tanks can find to uh, use and, and, some situations, maybe some particular fights, and who knows, you make them kind of pair this with the perfect set and actually be able to use this uh, a good bit uh, in some different things inside of the Elder Scrolls Online. When it comes to the light armor set, which is Transformative Hope, uh, the two items adds 4% healing done, uh, three items gain minor ages at all time, reducing your damage taken from dungeon, trial, and arena monsters by 5%, four items gain uh, 129 magic recovery, five items uh, adds 4% healing done and 5 items while in combat you heal yourself or an ally that's below 40% health you ignite a spark of hope within them for 3 seconds. If they are above 90% health when the effect ends you and the ally gain uh, major heroism for 15 seconds this effect can occur every 20 seconds per target. It does not sound like a bad set for healing but I'm still not sure if it's really anything that's going to take the place of what most healers wear nowadays. Uh, when it comes to the meta, healers have pretty much worn the same thing between just a couple sets for pretty much all time when it comes to ESO. Uh, this still is not a bad sounding set. Like, kind of like the tank set, we do have this different thing that the set does depending on exactly where you're at percentage wise. Uh, in your stats, which I do find kind of interesting the way they're doing these sets this time. But that transformative hope does sound like it could be useful. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see exactly if any healers start using it in harder in game content. Now, when it comes to damage sets, of course, Peace and Serenity is the light armor set. Add 657 crit chance, gain minor slayer at all times, increasing your damage done to trial, dungeon, and arena monsters by 5%. The four and five piece item bonus adds 129 weapon and spell damage and the five piece bonus. While you are standing still, you gain 465 weapon and spell damage. While you're moving, you gain 203 health, magic, and stamina recovery, which I talked about this in a previous video. Sounds like a pretty interesting set. Um, if you're playing some harder in game content, if you're a trials fan, if you're standing still, you know, when you're fighting a boss, you're getting that weapon and spell damage. But while you're on the move, maybe in a mobile fight, you're actually getting health, magic, and stamina recovery back, which I do think could be useful in dungeons or trials, or you know, either for maybe in-game players, or if you're a person who just likes to just run normal dungeons and you want to have that health, magic, and stamina recovery. If you like to, you know, move around the map a lot while you're doing things, you, if you're one of those people that like to maybe just run through stuff really quickly, uh, that could be useful. I don't think this is quite as good as some damage sets we already have available in game, but as we all know, if you have two sets on, you might compare this with something. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of testing out there since the test server, you know, has been up for PC, and once the, uh, you know, update is released for everyone, 
uh, when Necrom it does come out. I think there'll be a lot of testing with this set, with some pairing it with some other sets to really maybe maximize some of those benefits. And last but not least, and Sewell's Torment, which is the medium armor set. Uh, two pieces adds 657 crit chance. Three pieces gain minor slayer at all times, increasing your damage done to trial arena uh, monsters by 5%. The four-piece uh, bonus is adds 1,487 offensive penetration. The five-piece set is 657 crit chance. And the last part of the five-piece set is increase your damage done against uh, monsters by 7% when you interrupt an enemy. You increase your damage done against monsters by an additional 7% for 10 seconds. Kind of interesting sounding set, especially if you're a person or a fan of uh, you know the likes of penetration on your gear if you're trying to hit that pin cap sometimes pin sets aren't that bad i know a lot of people are already at especially in-game players uh, you know a lot of people like to play hard in-game content whether it be trials dungeons uh, arenas whatever the case may be are already at that pin cap so that four piece bonus may not be that great but the five piece item bonus is not that bad you increasing your damage done against monsters by seven percent and when you interrupt an enemy you increase your damage done again by an additional 7% for 10 seconds. So that's a pretty good damage buff to have that 7% damage done against monsters and then being able to do 7 more percent when you interrupt an enemy. So you're looking at 14% damage done there for those 10 seconds. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these damage sets here in the Necrom chapter. Like I said, these will be the trial sets. So if you're a trials fan, you might be looking to get your hands on some of these. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.